Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I want to talk about how to differentiate exponential functions using the quotient rule. So let's just give you guys a function that you have to differentiate and make it some sort of fraction. So let's do x divided by e to the power of x. So how do we differentiate this? Well, if you guys remember, we uh, when we have a fraction in the form of y equals u divided by v, where u is equal to x and v is equal to e to the power of x, what we can do is we can simply use the quotient rule. Now the quotient rule states that when we want to differentiate this fraction, the answer is equal to v, so the bottom of the fraction, the denominator, times by u dash, minus u times v dash, divided by uh, v squared. Divided by v squared. So that is the formula. So that means we're going to differentiate u and v separately. So u dash differentiate x gives you 1. Differentiate e to the power of x gives you e to the power of x again. So let's substitute them into the formula. So I have e to the power of x times 1 minus x times, because u is x, v dash is e to the power of x divided by v squared. v squared is e to the power of x squared. Okay, so let's try and simplify all of that. So e to the power of x minus x times e to the power of x divided by e to the power of x time uh, to the power of 2. So using one of the index laws, this then becomes x e to the power of x times 2, which is um, 2x. Okay, so now what we want to do is try and simplify it or factorize it. So you can see both of the terms at the top has e to the power of x in it. So let's put that at the front. e to the power of x bracket 1 minus x. And the bottom has e to the power of 2x. Now both of these terms have e as the base. So what you're going to do is you're going to get the bigger number, the, the term with the bigger power, so that's 2x, I'm going to minus x. So then it's going to be 1 minus x divided by e to the power of 2x minus x. So the bigger power minus the smaller power, and then this smaller term will disappear. So then it's equal to 1 minus x over e to the power of 2x minus x just becomes x. Okay, I hope this helps you guys do questions that involve the quotient rule. Let's give you guys another one to see if you can get the answer. Okay, so the question is, differentiate y equals cosine bracket e to the x divided by sine bracket e to the x. So again, we're going to let y equals u divided by v, where u is equal to the term at the top, and v is equal to the term on the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to differentiate each one separately. So u equals, well, we're going to have to use the chain rule. So cosine differentiates into negative sine e to the x. And then we differentiate the inside, multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is e to the x. And v dash equals sine differentiates into cosine copy down the inside times e to the x differentiates into e to the x so derivative of the outside times by the derivative of the inside so substituting substituting those into the formula 
v times u dash minus u times v dash over v squared. So v times u dash, that becomes sine bracket e to the power of x times u dash. So this whole thing here times negative sine e to the x times e to the x minus oh, it was a very big um, answer so minus probably won't fit I'm gonna cut and paste that put it all the way down here so it fits a little bit better um, get rid of this okay so minus um, u times v dash so I have cosine e to the x times v dash is cosine e to the x times e to the x so that's u times v dash v squared is sine bracket e to the x bracket squared okay so let's see if I can try and simplify that so that's e to the power of x a negative sign at the front and then there's sine squared e to the power of x okay because that's sine x times sine x minus cosine oh we got e to the power of x first and then cosine squared e to the power of x um uh, and then I have on the bottom sine squared e to the power of x very interesting so I can see at the top of the fraction I have e to the power of x is a common factor so let's take that out um, and the negative sign is also a common factor you take that out so negative e to the x bracket sine squared e to the x minus cos squared e to the x uh, racket uh, sorry divided by sine squared e to the x now I did one thing sort of incorrectly and that is if I put the negative at the front then inside this becomes a plus okay because negative times positive gives you negative so yeah the inside should be a plus now this middle bit becomes very interesting because if you guys remember we have this equation sine square theta plus cos square theta equals one okay that was one of the trigonometric identities that we showed you before so what does that mean that means we can replace this whole bracket negative e to the x with one and the bottom is still sine squared e to the x okay if you're not sure where this identity comes from you should probably have a look at my trigonometric identities tutorials otherwise this is the solution to the problem okay thanks for watching guys see you next time